What is going on guys, FaZe Rug here, and today is a different type of video. I'm actually not even going to be making this video. My mom has been wanting to do this for a long time. She kind of wanted to like sit down in front of the camera and have a rant with you guys, a talk, a chat, you know, just like a message. She's been telling me she wanted to do this for a long time, but I was kind of iffy about this to do on my channel because, you know, my channel is more like... Just like fun videos, uh, challenges, like all these cool different types of videos. Never really the serious type, but my mom really wanted to do something like this. She said she just wants to like talk. She has a lot on her chest. And like I said, I was iffy about this. So I just want to warn you guys, this is like a 20 minute rant of my mom talking about like life, parenting skills, um, just like life in general. And she basically had a lot of things on her mind that she wanted to get off her chest. And like I said, I didn't know if I wanted to upload this on my channel, but I finally gave her a chance. Like I finally was like... Whatever, I mean, if you guys want to watch this, you can. She'll really appreciate it, but like I said, I'm letting you guys know now. If, you, if this isn't like your type of video to watch, then you can click off, go on to your next YouTube video, whatever you want. But if you guys want to listen to Mama Rug talk about what she wants to say, then that'd be awesome. She would really appreciate it, and she wants, like, everyone's feedback on it. She's worried about getting hate and constructive criticism, but honestly, like, constructive criticism is normal. Like, if you don't like anything that she's saying, like, go ahead, like, let her know. But I just put it together. I watched it myself. My mom is a really, really nice person. She cares for everyone. Like, even for people that she doesn't know, she cares for them to just be a good person. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like if you guys do. Drop a like for Mama Rug and show her some support. She really appreciates it. She loves reading the comments and it just always warms her heart when everyone's nice to her. So um, show her some love and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hey, what's going on guys? Mama Rug is here and today is gonna be only me and you guys. Today's video is not a prank. It's not a skit. It's not a vlog. It's I would like to call it um, just the chat between me and our beautiful fans. Um, I wasn't, well, I was sure that I wanted to make this video, but um, I talked to Brandon and Brian about it and they told me, oh mom, you're gonna get a lot of dislike and negative comments and people, they're not gonna like it, but I'm gonna leave it up to you guys. But I wanna ask you guys, please watch the whole video and understand everything I'm saying before you just go to this like button or give me a negative comment or anything. I don't mind. You can tell me your opinion about it, but I want you to understand before you do it. Um, where should I start? I'm going to start from the beginning. Um, this video is going to be about parents and kids and respect and going out and stuff so it's going to be a lot of things in one one video so i'll start from when we get married <clears throat> the first thing we think about most of us it's having kids because there's nothing like having a kid in your life is the most precious thing the most beautiful thing so and then we have kids and you become so happy and it's life-changing your life changed for better, for me at least it did. And what I mean by life changing is nothing matters more than your kids at that point. Everything you do, it's about them, for them. And it's, it's, they become part of you, piece of you, the love of your life, your heart. So everything matters, their happiness, their sadness, their success, fall, whatever, their problems, and and you'll do anything in your hand to make them happy because there's nothing better than seeing your kids happy and make it good in life. <clears throat> By you'll do anything for them, even taking a bullet for them and not the nerve gun bullet, real bullet, seriously. I would do that for my kids. I love them to death. And I'm sure every mother feel that way. So they grow you, every step of their life and matter and means a lot to you. They start going to school, they start doing things and here comes the dangerous age. It's the teenage age or probably a little before the teenage age. Kids start growing here like um, fast. It's me, Bosley. It's me. Nobody's here. Come here. Come here. Sit on the couch. 
you know what I call that age? It's swimming age. Swimming a long ocean. It's you either make it to the end of the river or ocean or you might drown in the middle. Drowning and not coming out is when you do bad, bad things. But sometimes you can drown and somebody's there to help you. Oh, okay, the point of me talking about this age and kids, because most of the kids don't understand their parents. They don't give them a chance to explain themselves why we do the things we do. For example, saying no. I don't think the word no exists in the dictionary of teenager. They can't hear that word. It's like something, oh my God, it's a murder or a crime that we commit when we say no to something. For example, let's say a kid asks his parents, oh, can I go out? And if they say, 10 times if they say yes, and that one time they say no, oh my God, it's the end of the world. And he go right away, tweeted, I have the worst parents in the world, I hate my parents, my parents never let me do anything, and it's gonna be only that one time, remember. Okay, instead of doing that, just sit and say, why? And this to the parents too. Just don't say, no, no you're not. That's it, go to your room. Explain why. Because there's, well, we don't say no just to any place. We say no to the places that we know you might get hurt or you might get in trouble. So let's say there's a house party, which I personally hate and I don't like. And a lot of things can happen at those house parties because what's in there? There's alcohol, there's drug, there's girls. So mix them all together drink, do drug, you're out of it. You don't know what you're doing. You might rape somebody. You might, you might fight with somebody. Or you might say, oh, I just had a little drink. Let me go home and drive. And even if you live five minutes from where you are, you can get in trouble, okay? Now you guys are gonna say, oh, we just can't live our life thinking if, if, if. That if can happen. And it does happen a lot. And when it happened, we'll say, oh my God, in a million years, I would never thought it would happen to me. Why you put yourself in a position or situation that you're not gonna like? You're gonna regret it right away when you wake up. God forbid, you'll see yourself either in the hospital or in jail or somewhere that they tell you, oh, yesterday you were driving drunk and you hit somebody. Or look what happened to you then you're gonna say, but I don't remember that. And why you don't remember? Because you were wasted. I'm not saying never go out or have fun and go places, but be responsible. Be responsible where you go and what's out there. Not just because you wanna look cool and fit in with the wrong crowd. You'll do whatever they tell you or, no, that's not the right thing. Be strong and say no. Because saying yes and doing what you're gonna do, you're gonna end up in a bad, bad situation that not you or parents like. And you know what? It hurts us as parents more than you. It hurts so much that when you see your kid in trouble or when you see your kid uh, did something wrong, because we know how you're gonna feel and we feel for you. So when we say no, just sit there and understand why we say no. Like if you say, oh, I have a birthday party and let me go and if your parents say no, you can't go, I'm telling you that's wrong from them because you know there's nothing wrong with it or uh, they know where you are and you're with the good friends and stuff. So this to the parents, if, if you guys can ask your parents if they have five, 10 minutes from their time to sit and watch this, I will appreciate it because there's some things for them too. I want the parents to be so close to their kids, know where they go, know who they hang out with. That's the most important thing. Hanging out with the people can change your kid's life. You can have an angel at home, and if he chose to go with the wrong crowd, he can become a devil. I mean, I've seen, I've heard, I, I, 
a lot of people they had perfect kids going to college and have future and stuff just that wrong crowd they choose to hang out with can ruin everything always find out where they are always find out the uh, your kids friend have them come over talk to them see see how what kind of friends they have that really matter a lot in our kids life because they when they become a teenager they like to be out there with the friend and outside the house more than being with us and close to us so you can't guide them anymore I mean you could much as you could but the hours they spend with out and with the friend is more than what they spend it at home and they listen more believe me there's some kids if the parents say this is wrong they say no it's right but if the friends say oh no this is wrong they're oh you're right you're right please the point of this part is you guys have to understand why we say no sometimes because we brought your ass to this world we're responsible for it we brought you guys to this world to be happy and successful and have a future and and do something good so we're responsible and plus we love and care and worry about you guys it's not oh i don't want my kids to go out because i hate them and i don't want them to have fun no this is the last thing any parents can think about all we care is about your happiness your to see you happy and comfortable in your life make us happy. Like I said, you're, you guys become part of us. So anything happened to you guys, happened to us. Okay, another thing. Let's say um, you're out with your friends. And mom is home. Let's say there's friends over too. This is kids versus parents. <clears throat> Okay, like when the mom get texts from her kids when they're out or if she's with somebody, this is the look on her face. <sighs> Happy, excited, like um, she wants to show up like and tell her friend, oh, you know what, oh, can you read, oh, is that, oh, my son, I, I, I couldn't even like see it or anything, just to say, okay, my kids care and text me and stuff. Kids, when they're with their friend, they get a text from parents. I'm not saying all the kids, most of them are. Oh my God, why is she texting me? What does she want from me? Oh my God, what the fuck she wants from me? I'm here having fun. What does she want to know? Is she, oh my God, let me black her so she won't text me or call me or... Why? Why don't you say, why is my mom calling me or texting me? She wants to make sure I'm okay. That's all. We want to make sure you're alive. That's all. Age doesn't matter. It's only a number. That's where I always tell Brandon and Brian, no matter how old you are, I'm going to be, I'm not interfering with their business and life and stuff. No, but I'm going to be the one wanting to know how they're doing and stuff because they can't tell me, oh, but I'm 21. No, but you're still Brandon and Brian. You still my kid. I still care. Like after 21, nothing changes. It's only you're a little older. You know when we're gonna sit back and relax and let you do it? When we know you're responsible enough. And that's like, it's not the age of 14, 15, 16, 17. No, you still need guidance. And believe me, nothing better than parents' guidance because they love you with all, all their heart. No matter how good a friend you have, no matter how good of a girlfriend you have, your mom and dad is the one they, they worry the most, they care the most. And think about it. Think about why we do the things we do. Instead of getting mad and saying it's none of our business or don't ask me this and don't tell me that, we have to. Just to make sure you're okay. That's all. Another thing, and might be the last thing because I think I, I, I went too much I did too much um, lying so when parents start saying no to sometimes what the kids do is start to like to get away and to do whatever they want that's not that's not good believe me let me give you an example 
um, let's say somebody wants to go somewhere that he knows his parents will say no. So he would lie and say, oh, mom, I'm going to my friend's house. You know him, you know, this guy, this guy. And then we're going to go to the mall and eat and come back. Okay, honey, go have fun. So he goes to a different place. And God forbid something big happened there. And the mom, oh no, let's go back. Like the, uh, the kid is sitting there and saying, oh my God, my parents are full. I fooled them and told them I'm going uh, to the mall and stuff and look where I am. He's sitting all happy. You know who's the full one? It's not the parents. You're the full one to betray your parents' uh, faith on you and believing on you. So we're not the full one. You're the full one sitting there lying. We trust you and you betrayed the trust. So let's see who's the full one. Okay, let's go back. Like you lied and you're sitting there having fun and stuff and something happened. You got picked up by the police or something. And the mom get the phone call. Oh, ma'am, would you like to come and bail your son out? Oh no, you must have the wrong person because my son is with his friend and then at the mall and oh no ma'am is your son name is this and that how would that make you and the parents feel that's not that's not for you at all it's it's like you feel bad to say why why he put me in this situation he put himself in this situation so don't lie to your kids live to your parents be honest and parents listen to your kids give them a chance give them a chance to explain Get, listen to them every day get closer to your kids and kids get very close to your parents make them proud okay and one thing I want to say about my kids if they're gonna watch this video and they better uh, is I am very very proud mother very proud of they well, how they become and what they're doing and what makes me happy, there's kids look up to them. When I read some of the comments on Brandon Bryan's video, make me so happy saying, hey, you inspire me. Hey, you, you, I, I learned something from you and stuff. So when you see your kids successful and becoming like how they become, you feel like oh, I've done my job right. And I think I did. Thanks God, me and Ron, we were there for our kids. And in return, they give us what we wanted. We, we, no parents want money and stuff from their kids. They want successful kids. They want respect. And I can say I have that in my house. So Brandon and Brian, thank you for who you are. You make us so proud of you. I mean, I can run on the street and say, I'm Brandon and Brian's mother. They're good kids. Thanks God, but it, it needs a lot of guidance, it needs a lot of discipline, it needs a lot of... So do wherever you could to become so close to your kids and have your kids closer to you so they trust you and tell you things. And always advise them, always um, guide them to the right direction. I think that's all, I've said enough. And I wish you guys all the luck in the world. I wish you guys gonna become successful kids, make your parents proud because there's no better feeling than, okay, my kids did something good in their life. That's how I feel. Like when I'm with people, I just say, okay, well, I start talking about Brandon and Brian and how good they are and what they do. And they're smart kids and I love them. I love them to death. So, always show your kids how much you love them. Say I love you every day. Give them a hug and kiss. And same for the kids. It goes both ways. And you'll see, you'll see. Every kid is watching today, go give your parents a hug and a kiss and see how you make their day. Seriously, it's like a million dollar. It's like you want a million dollar when a mom or a dad get a hug and a kiss and I love you mom and stuff. It means a lot, believe me. That's how I feel. And they always make me feel that way. So thank you Brandon and Brian. And thank you kids for watching. And if the parents are watching, 
thank you and I hope I hope I wasn't saying some I didn't mean nobody with this video I didn't um, so don't point finger at nobody just in general that's how I feel kids are these days and and everybody can change believe me you can change for better and not for worse there is opportunities there's chances in life choose the right the right go to the right direction go choose the right decisions and you'll be fine believe me I love you guys I'll treat you like my kids so Peace and love and God bless.